What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video and uh, as you can tell from the start of the video I got a stainless steel snorkel and it looks so sick. So this video is not going to be too long because I didn't get to actually go there on the weekend and uh, film him making it which is fine. Um, you guys still get to see the final product and it looks so sick. So let's have a little look from the front guys. It's looking so freaking good. So it's four inch all the way so through there, there's a four inch and then like a silicon joiner in there and then silicon joiner to the air box. And then obviously I didn't go for the powder coated option. It's polished and seamless so you can't see any welds. Um, there's a handprint there, I just I need to wipe off. But coming up, we've got the sticker and my favorite bit about it is the teardrop that he's put here. So he hasn't finished it with a four inch circle like most people do. He's got his teardrop here and his little kraken symbol there which it's not quite focusing. All right, there you go. I turned the exposure up or down, whatever. Um, yeah, it looks sick. That is the teardrop style there. And I'm actually in love with it. Um, he asked me if I wanted it finished more up here or there, and I just went for there because I think it looks a little bit better and you can hear it right when you're in the window. So this is the side on view. It looks sick. It doesn't have, it's not like some of them enter like right here and just go straight bam in there. I didn't really like that. So I like what he's done here. He's, he tries to do things a little bit different. He researches other people's uh, designs and changes his so it's not like everyone else's. And then uh, obviously the teardrop is tilted like just a little bit this way and it looks, it's so good guys. It is sick. This uh, snorkel was actually really cheap as well. He did an awesome deal of $680 guys. So if you wanna get yourself one of these, use my name, go to his Instagram or Facebook page, Kraken Engineering, I'll put it here somewhere and uh, go get a quote from him and uh, yeah. If you do have an MP300, I know it's a little bit more because they have like a washer bottle uh, in the guard and a bunch of stuff. He also does air boxes and like rear swing aways and a bunch of stuff. So just message him and he'll give you a nice quote and uh, mention my name. Also, I know some of you are gonna be a little bit disappointed with uh, it being a budget build and it not really following the budget because it was $600, but I really didn't want to get one of those plastic snorkels. Um, so what I was gonna do is just go on Facebook Marketplace, find an old Hilux one on there for $100 and install it. Um, you guys can easily do that and that's what I was gonna do with the bull bar as well. Uh, as for updates on wrap, I still only have the roof, bonnet, and uh, this done because he had it this over the weekend and then the weekend before. The car was pretty much in the rain all weekend because I don't have like an enclosed garage. So that's why there's no wrap done, but there will be more videos on that. And uh, I have a winch half installed, but that video is coming because I have light bars and a bunch of stuff coming as well. If you're wondering what it sounds like, I'll start the car up now. Uh, it's not too loud because I have stock factory airbox and that filter is massive. So if I did have a custom airbox with a pod filter on it, it would obviously go stu -stu -stu, like uh, some other cars do. But in in slow time, I'll get an airbox or whatever. The exhaust is probably louder as well, guys. So be uh, beware. I'll put it right up to it. This is it. It doesn't even suck. And then uh, if I give it a rev. Doesn't really do anything. Um, it does make some sucky noises uh, when I'm driving, obviously. It's not really loud at all, it's not obnoxious. It's actually really, really nice. So if you're afraid of it uh, entering at your head height, it's not loud at all, unless you get an airbox. That might change it up a bit though. All right, so this is what the car sounds like driving with the snorkel windowed up. Pretty quiet. And uh, I'll show you what that is with uh, window down. Probably can't hear it over the exhaust, but it's just going up a slight hill. Taken off from a stoplight. It's not obnoxious at all. If you're wondering where he mounted it, he mounted it on the inside here. So when you close the door, the seal actually goes over that and uh, it's all closed as well. So then you're not having it 
on your, your pillar up here as well, which is good. I just want to take a quick second here, guys, to say that if you do want to support the build, um, I don't really like asking for money, but if you do really want to support the build, uh, I do have like merch and stickers coming soon. And uh, I really do need to know if you do need that, so leave a comment down below. And uh, if you don't want merch and you just really want to support the budget build so we can get some rock sliders, uh, lockers, and all the rest of that, you want to keep the budget build going, uh, you can become a member today by clicking the join button down below or the link in the description at the top because it really helps and uh, working and uh, YouTube doesn't actually pay me that much at all. So just like a little insight, you may see that like the videos get like thousands of views, but I actually make like maybe a hundred dollars a month off YouTube. So if you guys do want to support, uh, I love the members that are already there. We have 15 of you. You guys can start as little as three dollars all the way up to 30. And uh, yeah, that's my little my little thing. Thank you guys if you do join. But at least the car has a snorkel now because now we can go and hit some massive bog holes. Well, sort of massive, I don't have lockers, but we can uh, go through river crossings and do all touring stuff and fun stuff as well. So get keen for trip videos and a bunch of other videos as well coming with the Hilux. How good does that color look with the stainless steel snorkel? If I kept it brown, it still would have looked pretty good but I think this looks sick. Maybe I should change the roof so it's not all the same color. Maybe I'll go like a deep, deep purple or a really uh, satin black on the roof. Uh, I'm not sure, that could, shouldn't cost too much to the roof, but when the whole car is wrapped, this whole thing is gonna look so good. Light bars, the winch will be there, we've got the aerial, whatever, and uh, we'll have rock sliders. I haven't taken that step off yet because I haven't uh, cleaned this side of the car. I forgot to mention in the other video, some of you noticed it, but I did take that side step off and it makes the car look freaking massive. Yeah, look at that guys. Without the step, it looks so freaking big. Oh my God. Rock sliders and yeah, it'll look so good. Anyways guys, that's enough rambling from me. Don't forget to head over to Kraken Engineering to get yourself one of these as well. And uh, I am going to start doing some more live streams every week to uh, like maybe like one or two a week as well as the podcast, maybe playing some games or Mud Runner or whatever. So yeah, if you want to see that, uh, yeah, tune in and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to all the members. You guys know who you are and uh, shout out to Kraken Engineering for smashing that out in two days. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.